In order to achieve the mission and goals of the organization, the leadership would expect the HR manager and the HR team to ask him the following questions. How many people are needed to achieve that goal or mission? What level of skills do you want these people to have? What level of competence? And then when do you need them? And finally, of course, the HR team should know where to get them at the optimum cost. The leadership also needs advice from them on how to train, manage, evaluate, and motivate the people in order that their heart and minds are in the growth and prosperity of the business. As Zig Ziglar put it, you don't build a business, you build people and then people build the business. Human resource management is a strategic approach to the effective management of people in a company or organization such that they help their business gain a competitive advantage. It is designed to maximize employee performance in service of the employer's strategic objectives. So the process of HR management involves planning, acquiring, training, appraising, developing and compensating employees and attending to their labor relations, health, safety and fairness concerns. Before we get to that in more detail, let us look at what is an organization. It is people with formally assigned roles who work together to achieve the organization's goals over a period of time. And in this context, a manager is the person responsible for accomplishing the organization's goals and who does so by managing the efforts of the organization's people. So, the HR aspects of a manager's job begins by conducting job analysis, planning for labor needs and recruiting candidates, selecting candidates of which interview is one of them, and one must remember here that HR is the face of the company. The candidate who enters judges the company by the HR. And then of course, orienting and training new employees, managing wages and salaries, providing incentives and benefits, appraising performance, and very importantly, communicating. It also requires training and developing of managers, building employee commitment, very, very crucial. And finally, managing suppressions, which is people leaving the organization, whether voluntarily or involuntarily. Unfortunately, there can be some mistakes made by HR. And the first one is hiring the wrong person for the job, experiencing high turnover or attrition rate in the organization, having your people not giving and doing their best, wasting time with useless discussions and interviews, having your company in court because of various actions, have your firm cited for unfair labor practices, have some employees think their salaries are unfair and inequitable relative to others in the organization, allowing a lack of training to undermine your department's effectiveness, committing any unfair labor practices. Now let's look at what are the trends in HR. The first one is globalization. Due to globalization, there has been considerable amount of company consolidation, technological advances, and the further research. HR now focuses on strategic initiatives like mergers and acquisitions, talent management, succession planning, industrial and labor relations, and diversity and inclusion. In the current global work environment, most companies focus on lowering employee turnover and retaining the talent and knowledge held by their workforce. So companies need to be competitive. They need to be faster and responsive. They need to be cost effective. They need to be human capital oriented. They need to be fiscally conservative. They need to be scientific in how they make decisions. They need to manage, focus on more on a big picture issue such as helping the company achieve its strategic goals, create high performance work systems, take steps to help employer manage during challenging times and manage ethically. 
develop a proficiency to command strategic management and financial budgeting. The bottom line of managing is getting results. HR creates value by engaging in activities that produce the employees' behaviors that the organization needs to achieve its strategic goals. Looking ahead, using evidence-based HR management to measure the value of HR activities in achieving these goals. Here is a list of three excellent books and there are many more which you could refer to and read in order to gain greater depth and knowledge about the subject. Thank you. Mm-hmm.